down so you've got it where you want it don't worry about it going over or anything like that do it in the palm of your hand like that okay and then all you've got to make sure is that you um, actually cut it in a circle <laughs> you're going how fee how well I'll show you <coughs> so I've got this bit of tubing yeah I've got this tubing and I think that's more or less level and then all I've got to do uh, on that end, which is the solid round bit, is push that on. I'm going to do it there. Push that down. Take that off. And squash that down. And you've got your perfect circle and then when that's dried and come off of there you've got a big platter okay so we've got those so I'm just gonna let that dry overnight as well I need to pop it in there let me pop it back uh, there's just different things you can use you know I don't want any more than one and I'd only have to do them one at a time I don't think I'd prize that one off actually no I'm not going to prize it off I'm just going to let that I might just flatten it on the base here because otherwise it'll rock oops that's not straight that's better yeah We'll just leave that to dry. Uh, like I say, there's just lots of different things. I think I'm just going to, oops, just do another one of these smaller ones. And just pop that in. Do that. Lift that out. And then cut round. And then just smooth it off. And I've straight away got a dish. They don't have to be perfect. We don't look for perfection. But it's a nice little dish. And I can still... Level it off. That's it. That's another one. I'm just going to put that one back in just to flatten it down again. That's another dish. Yeah. I might do another one of them actually. Well, that's slightly different. But I pulled that out. You just do that with it. Just pull it out. So you're flattening it and put turning it out. like that and then you can file them down to however you want them like that just file them as you you know now that ones didn't work right so we just need to do that one again in the middle push down, pull it out and trim. I'm 
shape. Pull it out and then use your tool again to put your dish thing back in it. Cut it. And again, just shape it and pull it out slightly. Like that, and push that back in. Like I say, all you have to do then is just to um, shape them again with your files. But we'll come back and do that in the morning when these have all dried. I'll be back. Right, everyone. Um, last night I sat and did some of these miniatures. And most of them have dried. Now, this one is the one I used that to make the wide plate with. That tool comes in handy for lots of things. Now, all I'm going to do is just to sand down the edges, just to make it a little bit neater. But we're going to be decoupaging these to make them look um, really pretty. And we're going to be using different... Um, oh, what do they call it? Tissue paper sort of thing. Now, we do sell packs of tissue paper. If you look on the website, um, napkins, they come under napkins. And then what you can do is just pick your set. They come in a set of six. And again, I'm just using my little files. You probably could do with being a bit drier, but it doesn't matter. Like that, I'm fine with that. Quite happy with them. Yeah, that's going to look fab. And it's flat on the bottom, so that's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just to get a little bit of um, sanding paper. I don't remember where I put it. Is. Oh, I can use a sanding block. Maybe that'll do. Uh, I'm just going to move all these. Now, <laughs> you can see I've done uh, loaves of bread, croissants bread buns, some plates, a wand, bacon which needs to be coloured obviously. I'm gonna, this is an egg cup, that sits on there with an egg in it. So that's an egg cup, so I'm gonna sort that out in a minute. A pie, and like I say, different bits of bread that sits in there. Well it won't, it sits on the ground. Another pie, like a big pork pie. Not, oh, I don't know, cheese, whatever you wanna call it. Eggs. Um, yeah, there's all the eggs, some normal eggs, and I can sand them all down. These are beans, I've just got to sand the ends down so they don't look so rice bead like. And then we've got some toast and bits and pieces like that. So I'm just going to shove all of that to one side because I have to work on this. And all I'm going to do is just to do that really to smooth the edges down. It's not quite hard hard but it will dry see like that now because it's not quite as hard as I wanted it any imperfections we can just sand them down like that. I'm not looking for perfection. I never do. In my miniatures, especially with a vintage kitchen, it's you know it's all battered and bruised, it's years old, decades old and things like that. So I'm just looking to tidy them up basically. Like that. Yeah. That's gonna have food in it. Same with this one. 
do it in a circular motion and that just flattens the end and then we can do that to smooth it off Keep turning it around in your hand. I think I'm up to there. like that bit there we'll just sand that off that's fine happy with the base yeah and that's gonna have some uh, food in as well these are the little plates and I use the mold uh, I mean obviously now I've done it I need to make sure well I know how to do it now it's the first time I've ever done it but I think I might use um, a chipboard or something like that in future not balsa wood it's not good like that that's it I'm just going to do that one on the end, on the top. Sand that down a little bit. There we go. Oh, it's easier to do with this. I might make them into fried bread yet, I don't know. Could do with making some more platters as well. Because when you think about it, here's the sausage. So people have a couple of sausage, don't they, on the plate. They're going to have an egg. They're going to have a few beans when they're all into, you know, some uh, fried bread. And some bacon, you know. So that's a full breakfast. There you go, that'll do. Right, so that's that. Oh, I've got a couple here, so I'll do these as well. Just trying to hold them flat. They don't all have to be the same size or anything like that. So that's those. This is some, uh, like a block of cheese, which I'm not going to do anything with. I'm not going to do anything with the bread. I'm quite happy with that. And the loaf. And that one with the slice that's been cut out. Um. Oh, just need to do this. Now, I have in my little box of, uh, my little pack of tools, a round one. This one. This is the one I'm after. Oops. It's rounded. And so that way you can get in. I don't know if I've got a big one, actually. Let me just see what I have here. No, not that one. No, 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 no. Oh, that might be a bit bigger. Yeah, a bit bigger, I think. So all I'm going to do is just to file that down to how I want it. You 
you just have to do a little bit at a time so you get it right Just doing the top section. So it's just like a little stand. See like that. So it's got some shape to it. And I think that'll do. And then what I've got to do there is there's my little leg cup. It's on the top of that. Let me just choose my flat one again. I don't want to crush it. You do have to be careful with them. Like that. I'm quite happy with that. Just make sure we flatten that bit, I think. Right, okay, now, what I didn't do, and I should have done, was to use a stick. And I'm not sure if I can do this. Just move that out of the way. I need to... No, not. It won't do it. So where's my spike? Where's my spike? Oh, where's my spike? Well, I've got that one, I'm not sure. I don't want to break it, you see. Nah, I've done it. I've done it. Without breaking it. Which is good. Now, what I'm going to do is to... I thought I put my glue gun on. Never mind. We'll use this glue. So, what I'm going to do is just to attach some of the glue in there like that now I need it flat I've just got to also <laughs> see if I can put a hole in this carefully like that and then I'm going to snip the spike Um, that's not too thick I'm going to clear that middle out, yeah, so I don't need much. Like that. Never throw your ends away, keep them, keep hold of them. Right, and then what I've got to do is to attach that on there. Like that. Now, I'm just going to make sure like that that it's dry I mean it will dry it'll dry fine but I've made a little egg cup see now I only made one because I didn't know if it would work but now I know it'll work and then the egg where's my little egg gone no fee the egg you had mm, not that one I did, yeah, that one I think it is and then that egg sits in there. But obviously, I'm going to have to glue that in and then we can paint them later. So we just... And that will stick. It will stick. And a little egg cup. And so easy to do. Now they've found a little split there. So what I'm going to do is just attach some glue 
take one of these sticks and make sure that it's sat in it in that crack and then when that dries all I have to do um, I'm just going to spread it all the way around actually is sand that bit down and it'll be fine but yeah I'm just going to leave that to dry now like that so it's a good nice little egg cup not perfect by all means but you know it's good enough for me so um yeah these are just going to have to be colored now like i said i did some croissants and bits and pieces last night i had fun but i stayed up too late i was so tired now the only thing i want to do is i've done these now you take a little bit of wire i'm going to go get some hang on right i've taken it about two inches long you bend it in the middle right you just bend it in the middle pull the two arm pieces together and then what i've done is where the edge of this is i've just put the wire there because all the strips were the same size i've just bent that down till it hits this bar and then using the same bit it wants to be bending backwards yeah using the same bit again so it's only there you know level and I can bend that just slightly so I get that shape and the reason why I've done all of that and I do need to cut all of these the same um, is because I'm going to make one of those fire things but what I've got to do in order to you know the, the fire thing that I showed you yesterday a grid let's have a look see what we've got right so I've got those and they need to be lined up together so that's going to be the front oh, sorry that's they're going to be yeah the front and they all need to be lined up together like that Oops, sorry like that see so I need to put that onto something in order to glue it so i'm just going to cut a piece of this board doesn't need to be thick like that and all i have to do is to glue these on now what i'm going to do first is to attach it a little bit using the hot glue because i've got to arrange this so that's going to be like that And I need so many there. And they've got to sit right next door to each other. Like that. I can make sure that I level all them up later when they've all glued. I'm only doing it with the uh, hot glue to start with and then what I'll do is, is I'll pour on the wood glue which I know will dry it. Right, I think that's enough at the front of the grid. Now I'm going to round them off. I've got three and three, that'll do. So this time I'm going to bring this, uh, slightly bend it that way. And you'll see what I'm doing. Oops, bring it out there. And the last one will fit there for the fireplace. Like that. Once it's all glued down and it's stiff enough, it um, will enable me then to manoeuvre, you know, shape them where I want them. But they're all roughly. See, like that. So that's going to be the fire grid. So, oh, that's the one that's out of place. Those two. And just sort that one out. It doesn't... It's not sitting well. Oh, 
like I say, I'm not fussed too, too much about them. So while we've got them like that, then I'm going to take this glue, the wood glue, and add that. Like that. All the way across there. And that, like I say, I'm not fussed. If I have to cut it out and cut round that front, I'm not fussed about that at all. And I am going to actually, oops, use some of this spare glue that we have here for around this edge. At the front. And just fill that in there. Oh, it'll more than protect it. That'll be fine. Look, see how it's escaping out, but it doesn't matter. Right, I think we'll just leave that like that to dry for now. Right. Yeah, I can just smooth that out, whatever's dripping over. It will be fine. And that is going to be like the fire guard at the front, see? So I'm fine with that. I just thought about doing it last night because it was one of those headbands that I saw that they'd use for the fire guard. And I thought, you know, we can do one of those. That's not a problem. So that one's done. Oh. And I think what we're going to do now is to come, uh, is start on the painting of everything. Now, colours. Well... We're going to have to go with the colours that suit the project, the, whatever they are. Uh, sanding block, put back. Oh, I've got glue strands everywhere. I hate them. I feel like something's crawling on you. Ah. I'll just wipe all that glue off. Right, okay. Now, let's have a look. We're going to start with this baking. And people are saying, how do you do the baking fee? Well, um, you just have to paint it. So that's what we're going to do next. Let me just get my paints. And I just need a little bit of uh, card. So, and like I say, now I'm going to need something to hold on. I hope you can see this. Sorry, I hope I'm in, not in the outer shot. So, and we're just going to add some more meat there. I should use a finer brush, but I can't find mine. But that's fine. That's fine. It will darken once you've um, gone over it a little bit. So I'm just going to hold on to that. Now I wait for the first layer to dry. Now before I darken them. So I'm just going to hold on to that. Yeah, you need some that's got a fine tip. Just, you don't have to do much. So again, some brown, some red, and a bit of pink. Just gives you that rich colour.
I'm gonna have to get my fine um, brushes out I think Seven. <laughs> because I wanted some on, a, on my frying pan as well. Now, you need orange. I've got that orange out, but it's not orange enough. So where's my orange? Didn't I have orange? Probably not. Uh, well, we'll just have to do a bit of red with that. We've got some red there. So what I'm going to do is just take this, wet the brush, take some of the red and add some yellow and you get the colour of a nice egg. What they used to look like. Today they all seem to look poorly. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is just start painting the egg, see? I'm not bothered about going, because the, the top bit is separated from the bottom. I just press them on. And I'm not bothered if it goes over the edges, because that's going to be white anyway. And I'll use a flat brush for that. But yeah, eggs look ill to me. They really do. They look ill all the time. I hate looking at the eggs today. I think poor eggs. Poor chickens. That's why we get them from the farm. Because we know they're fresh. And they look like this. Yeah. 
Now, you lot might do yours different way. That's up to you. You could paint these first before gluing them on. That's fine. But I'm doing mine this way. And when you add the glaze to them, it fills in all the cracks and seals them anyway. So they look like nice eggs, I'm sure they do. So let them dry before I do the white. Now, regarding the bread bun, I'm just going to take a little bit of yellow um, with the brown and then some white just on the first part. I'm going to take a brush with water just to do like a watery section. It's going to soak, but you need to do it first and then we can colour it afterwards. Oh, it's not bread. This is a pork pie. So this has to be done um, in a tan colour sort of thing. Yeah. So again, some water, get that colour on there, and we're just going to do that. And I'll go over it with the uh, tan colour, which is just a colour wash. Uh, actually, I might just do it with the chalks, you know. Once you've got the colour on there, then you can use the uh, chalks to darken it. 